hello everyone today we are going to explore about navigation and routing concept basically sometimes we need to navigate from one view to another view we will see it today and after that we will see routing concept basically a routing is uh, adding of some more URL to your index.html5 suppose this is a website daksana.org and this is our index.html means this is our home page and suppose I, uh, when you will click on this login here it will redirect you to a new url and that url is appended with login.asp after our main website so suppose we want to bookmark that this particular page so we can bookmark this particular page we don't have to bookmark the whole dakshna.org website and we need to revisit it again so basically routing helps us to navigate from uh, sorry uh, basically routing helps us to append this sub url and it helps us in bookmarking any particular url so let's get started first go to file create a new ui5 application so give your project name so view navigation after that this is going to use sap.m library and we are gonna create initial view give a view name and this is a xml file finish it in our application there this is our first view this will be loaded automatically after that there will be a button in this space and on click of that particular button it will navigate us to view 2 so we are going to make some changes here change this title to view 1 after that in content of this space we are going to just declare a button right here button text equal to button in view 1 and this button will hold up press event so press equal to and event name is on press and close this tag so basically what we have done we have created a button with text button in view 1 and it's hold it holds a press event save it and execute your application copy this URL and paste it in your Google Chrome for debugging purpose so right now we have created a button in our view now we need uh, another view and after clicking on this button it will navigate us to second view so click on this folder view navigation under web content folder where our two views are included right click on it and create on new other and after that select view next give a view name this time view to and this is xml finish so we have created our view 2 in our view 2 change this page title with view 2 and in content of this page we are just going to include a text so write here text text equal to you have been naviga navigated to view 2 
press back button to visit view 1 and close this text so basically here we have created a text you have been navigated to view 2 press back button to visit view 1 and now we are going to give two parameters of sap.m.pes and that is navigation button so here right go to google chrome if you don't know what that properties is and just write here sap.m.pes so i think i am not connected to internet go to google and write here sap.m.pes open this first link and click on this new sap.m.pes here you will see a uh, properties called so nav button copy it and paste it here and this is so nav button and this text boolean property so write equal to true and after that what will happen on this nav button text and here is a event called nav button press what will happen when we will click on this particular button so right here nav button press equal to and event name on on navigation save it so basically what we have done we have created another view and it can see uh, it contains a navigation button and there is an event on navigation now go to your index.html file so this code has been auto generated here uh, we have an app sap.m.app we need a id for it so give here an id to your app and after that comma and initial page is keep it to id view 1 change is to this to id view 1 and this page has been binded with app and app is placed at content now here write add your another page and write here page 1 declare your page 1 just copy this code paste it here give it page 1 this is id view 2 view name is view 2 ok and app dot place at content now we have to perform navigation for this so go to your controller of view 1 and our event was on press so copy this one go to v1 controller and right here on press function and after that we have to fetch our app id so right here app equal to sap.ui.getcore dot by id we are not creating here new 
but we are fetching our id which has been created earlier by id and our id was app id so app equal to sap.ui.core by id app id and after that write app dot to and provide your view id to which you want to navigate so this time our view id is id view to do the same for on navigation in controller 2 so right here on navigation app 2 and from view 2 we will go to view 1 save it go to your browser and check if this is working refresh your page click on button and here we are uh, redirected to view 2 and it contains a text with a back button and on click of this back button we must go to view 1 so we today we saw that how to navigate from view 1 to view 2 and from view 2 to view 1 you can do it for more views you can navigate from view 1 to view 2 view 2 to view 3 basically uh, these cases uh, happens in split app we will see it later that how to use a split app so this is for today and in our next video we are going to use our routing concept thank you